choosing a theme for your EPK can be uh, a headache. Um, in looking at this account, uh, I see that the logo is grayscale. It's got uh, a white box around it. Probably be best to have the page background uh, set to white so that there's no border or inverting the logo. So you've got a couple options. Uh, I just want to show you how to change themes. Um, log into the back end and click on appearance in the left sidebar and that will bring you to the um, theme library. So in here you get to pick and preview themes. Um, there's a little preview button below each thumbnail. If you click on that it will essentially show you the theme without actually applying it to your live site. Uh, so it's a way of you know fooling around before committing to something. Um, so I'm just going to preview a few others. Uh, so this one's white. The logo fits on that quite nicely. There's no border around it. Um, I believe they wanted to go with 6.0. So I'm going to activate that one and then go back to my home page, refresh, and there's the theme that we have. Now that still doesn't quite work, but um, the layout is what we want. So we're going to change these colors up. And to do so, I'm just going to click on theme options in the left sidebar of the back end. And over to my right are the color settings. So if you click on color settings, enable the checkbox, uh, you'll be able to essentially click into each color, use the uh, eyedropper to select your color. So I'm going to go with white here, click on OK. That's that. Um, navigation bar, I might change that. Um, what will I do here? These are all the, the settings. Um, so the footer. I'll make that pink just so that it's obvious. Click on OK. Um, navigation background. Uh, I'll make that white. Click on OK. And save all changes at the very bottom. And I'll go back to my home page. And you'll see this gradient in the background will have changed to white. So the logo sits well. And our footer at the very bottom is pink. Okay. So um, I'm still going to opt out of that. I'm going to make the page say black. Click on OK. And uh, I'll probably do the same for the footer. Where was that pink? So there's the footer color. Click on that. Go right down to the bottom here for black. Click OK. Save those changes. Refresh. Okay, so now I got this black box. Um, I'm going to upload another version of this logo, which is inverted. So I'll click on general settings and theme options and uncheck recheck just to expand. And I'll browse for that new logo. So I believe this is the one. Um, so this is just reversed black background instead of white. And I'll save those changes. I've also shrunk it down a bit. So I'll refresh this. I think that's a little more pimp. Uh, I'm going to go back to my color settings and customize my CSS, which is right at the bottom. So that got reduced to about 90, so I'm going to make that 90. Save those changes. Refresh. And there, that's a little tighter. Mm, we probably still want a black navigation bar. So I'll look for the navigation background, which is here. Bring that right down to black. Click OK. Save those changes. Go back again, refresh. And there we go. So I kind of like that. Um, might work better with another theme. It's not too big a deal to switch up. Even after changing your colors, the settings will carry over. So I'll click on Themes again under Appearance. And I'll activate uh, the 1.0 EPK. Note that if you're a premium subscriber, you can click on premium themes, which will be unlocked. And it'll be the same set of themes, but without the footer credits. Um, so anyway, right, let's go refresh that. Yeah. Now, if you ever notice that your uh, navigation bar disappears, you probably just need to go reassign it under menus, also found in appearance. And there'll be a theme locations widget at the top left, and you'll just have to reassign it from blank to whatever your menu is called. Click save and then go back. And it should be there. So there you have it. 
switching themes and changing colors.